And here we go with the Tri-State Audi Knicks postgame show this afternoon against Denver. Zeke Naji, only his 10th game of the season, went for a career-high 21. And the reigning MVP in the league, Nikola Jokic, shows why he's so great. 32 points, 11 rebounds, 5 assists, 4 blocks. All Denver this afternoon, 113 to 99. Great to have you with us from our Delta MSG studios. Bill Pito along with Monica McNutt and Wally Zerbeck. All right, guys, that's the first three-game losing streak for the Knicks all season long. And Monica, for the first time all season, they are now under 500, one game under the even Stephen Mark. It is not a comfortable place to be, for sure. And that, tonight, I, I'm trying to find the word because it just seemed like there was a lack of effort. At points, we saw them get the lead within striking distance, but you just can't let go of the rope in that way. And, it, and I don't want to oversimplify, but we've seen them drop these three games to good teams, teams that have an identity, they have a philosophy, and they go out and execute. The only way a second-year guy goes off for a career high is because the rest of the players trust him and they are finding him in open spots and making it easy. And tonight, Wally, just everything was so difficult for the Knicks, and it shows on this box score. No, I know. And, and for the first time, I saw a little bit of doubt in the Knicks players' faces. Um, you know, you mentioned effort. You know, it's hard to say. I think the guys are, are, are trying. You know, it, I, I never try to point at effort, but it's the beauty of sports. Mm -hmm. Like, if you don't perform and you don't make your shots when you're open and you don't execute your defensive coverages and you're playing against the MVP of the NBA, you're going to get boat raced. And they were down 30 in this game. It doesn't matter. That's why there's no explanation in sports unless you perform at a high mm -hmm. level. And today... The only real Nick that performed at a decent level, he's capable of playing even better than he did, was Julius Randle. He right. had 24 points. You know, he was good on the boards. He was good defensively. But Nikola Jokic completely dominated math his matchup with, with Mitchell Robinson. And that was our matchup to watch. Mitchell Robinson has been very good in at least slowing down guys like that. But he just didn't have an answer for his smarts. And then you got a guy like Zeke Naji who just has a career game. Mm -hmm. Seems like everyone who comes into the garden has career games as of late. Yeah. You know, that's what happens. So the Knicks got to get back to the drawing board and figure out how to start winning at home. Last year, we always saw consistent 48-minute games, 48 minutes worth of sustained effort. There always seems, Wally, in, in these games this year, so, even when they win, some type of gap where they just have this amazing run the other way. I, I just, it's very hard to figure out. Yeah, it's just not a good defensive team. I mean, they've played, what are they now, 11 and 12? Yeah. And they've played 23 games. They're just not good defensively. <laughs> I, I, you know, Tom Thibodeau is, is known as a great defensive coach, but unless you have personnel out there that are going to take the challenge to keep their guy in front of them, first of all, not give up dribble penetration, because if you give up dribble penetration in this league, it doesn't matter who you're playing, you're going to give up 23s. And they gave up 23s. Uh, nuggets, they shot the ball at a high percentage. It's tough to shoot 20 for 42 when you're wide open in an empty gym and they did it in a game because teams are getting better from the three-point line and you know the Knicks got to get back to that defensive level that they're capable of playing first and foremost because that'll keep them in games yeah. right now their games are just getting away from them because their defense is just not there yeah and then so you combine missing maybe some defensive miscommunication we'll call yeah. it on a night where they struggle to find the basket I mean 39% on the game, I mean, that includes some buckets after the fact once the game was pretty much in hand. But overall, everything was just so challenging, and we were sort of joking going through this box score. Oh, they won second-chance points. Well, you have to win second-chance yes, points when the other team can't miss, and you're struck, you've got to find a way to right. score the basketball. So I just – and, Wally, you know this. Nothing comes easy. Like, yeah. just not – occasionally an OB run out, maybe a lob to Mitch, but there's got to be a way to find some some point in the game to find something easy, if for nothing else than to get confidence going, because basketball, human nature experience is to see the ball go in the basket and then find some energy on the defensive end. And right now you're just kind of looking for both of them, honestly. So the Knicks go down by 16 in the first half. Third quarter, they get within six. And then Wally, Denver closes a quarter after the Knicks get within six on a 23 to eight run. And that was a ball game. Yeah, and you can't have that, especially, um, <clears throat> you know, at home. Uh, you know, <laughs> Alec Burke struggled a little bit today. And listen, the guy, the guy gets a pass. I mean, he's been phenomenal for the last two, three weeks. R.J. Barrett came back into the lineup. He looked good in the first half, but then he missed a couple shots that really could have gotten him into the flow of a really good game. And you could just see Jokic, 
This team's lost seven out of eight. They have a lot of pride. They have one of the best coaches in the NBA, Michael Malone, and Jokic just saw a little bit of a rattled Knicks team, and he just stepped on their throat. He said, I need a win. I don't care. I've been on the road for 10 days. I'm going to be on the road for four more days. I'm the MVP of this league. The Knicks aren't bringing it today. I'm just going to wipe them out in the third quarter. And that's what great players do. You know, he was just an assassin today. He saw he had a couple guys that were knocking down shots. He knocked down threes, and he just looked at Mitchell Robinson and said, you're not in my league. Sorry. I'm just going to dominate this game, and we're going to win by, you know, double digits. And that's what happened today. It's amazing, Monica, to watch Jokic play. <laughs> it is. He's not fast. It is. He's not athletic. Yeah. He can barely jump. Can he even jump over a penny? I don't, um, I don't, I don't, listen. I don't. How does he do it? It's basketball like you. I mean, mm -hmm. you look at the way that he plays. First of all, he's never not in a position to make a strong decision that is confident based on his skill set, right? But today, you know, he's trailing. Like, how do you lose track of the MVP? Like, that's an easy two. And then here, because of his size, he makes that quick move, the spin, and then because of his size, there's not much that a 6'8 Alec Burke on his hips can do about it. And so when he turns his mind to score, he makes decisive moves that maybe, you know, the John Wooten quote is be quick, but don't hurry. But he's never in this lull, I'm confused mode. You just don't see that from him. And I think his decisiveness is a huge factor on why he is, good as, is as good as he is because he speaks to his basketball IQ. And he always plays to his strengths. He's not going to try to cross you up one-on-one -on -one behind the back, old school and one mixtape. That's not his thing. But he will big body you to death and it works very well. And he's going to simplify the game. Mm -hmm. He doesn't. He doesn't waste any energy, he doesn't waste any dribbles. He just sees and reads his defender perfectly, and it didn't matter who was guarding him. He torched everyone. And Mitchell Robinson is a great defender as far as guarding centers, but this was just a, 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 um, you know, a schooling uh, for Mitchell Robinson. He's got to watch this film. He's got to learn from this game. If he wants to be an elite starter in this league, mm. he's got to learn at the, how to guard Nikola Jokic and watch the moves that he makes. And he's got to do that prep work because he's young. So he's got to learn when I see Jokic again, there are some things I got to take away to not allow him just to completely dominate the game. See, the thing is, when you watch Jokic, guys, he, he's a phenomenal outside shooter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And one of the things, and you mentioned Randall had a good game. One of the things that Randall's not doing this year that he did last year, and you bring it up all the time, he's not hitting the three like he right. did. And it seems like that has changed the whole complexion of the Knicks offense. When you make a three when you're a star, it just... It, it, it handcuffs the defense because <laughs> there's no way yeah. to guard you. Yeah. But if you're not keeping the defense honest with knocking down those three-point shots, they're going to sag off you, they're going to pack the paint, and you're not going to get anything easy. And right now that's what's happening with Randall. He made a few threes in the first Only two out of seven quarter. for the game, though. I know. He got off to a good start. And if you notice the offense at the beginning of the game, he was great at facilitating, got RJ some open looks, got Fournier some open looks in the first quarter. But that three-pointer, when he knocks it down, that completely opens up the whole entire game for not only him, but also the whole Knicks team. Yeah, it's, it's, but the, our lovely partner, Alan, who's not here, always points, points out the numbers. And right now, the stats don't bear that he is a consistent threat from there. And so it makes yeah. sense for teams to sag off, right? And I think... It, two things are happening because he wants to hit those threes and so the frustration compounds. But two, just in terms of the spacing that's on the floor, yes, the offense doesn't have a ton of movements. But when he hits those threes, then you've got guys that can cut, that can uh, crash the glass, even on some of the threes that are missed gently. You put a guy like Obi in a chance to clean, in a position to clean it up. As a team, from three, the Knicks this afternoon, only 12 out of 40. So obviously struggling, Randall and everybody else.